Hi, this is Paul, one of the techs here at Micro Center, and today we're going to continue our series on looking at the WinBook security system. Today will be part two of how to remotely access your DVR, and this part will take place entirely within the router. So, let's get started. First step is to go ahead and open up the internet. Now, for this demonstration, we're going to use a Tender router. Uh, if you have a router by another company, uh, what you might want to do is go to portforward.com. If you go to the guide section under port, port forwarding, they actually have a section for just about any router imaginable, it looks like. That, uh, I mean, this is just a wealth of information. So you would click on your, your router and it will, will tell you where to go to forward the ports. But for our demonstration, we're going to use a Tender router. Okay, to get to that router, it's 192.168.1.1. In this case, hit enter. It's going to ask you the username and password. They're both going to be admin. Of course, it's going to be different from router to router, but that's the default for most. Okay, so now let's go ahead and forward those ports. Go to virtual server. Okay, so under virtual server, we want to go to the uh, port range forwarding. I want to go ahead and put in these ports to forward. It's 34567 to 34567. Next one is 34599. 34599. And, and the last one is uh, 80 to 80. And the last subnet of the IP address is going to be 5. And if you just need a refresher on, on where to get that from, let's let's uh, briefly take a look at the, the DVR to review where we got that number from. Okay, back in the WinBook DVR, we want to right click, click on Main Menu, click on Advanced, click on Network. The fourth selection down is the IP address. That's the number that we want to put in to the router for the port forwarding. Let's go ahead and switch back over into the router. Okay, so we put a 5 in for the last subnet of that IP address. We want to set the protocol to both. Enable. Click on Apply. And while we're here, we should check the UPnP settings. It usually, by default, it's enabled, but you want to make sure that it is enabled. Click Apply again. All right. Now let's go into Security Settings to Remote Web Management. We want to enable this. Uh, but this will allow the router to accept uh, incoming connections. We want to make sure this is turned on. Now hit apply. All right, this concludes the uh, the router section of this setup. Just set up your your router to accept the port forwarding for the WinBook security system. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com.